Hey everyone, I'm Ashley. And I'm Trevor. And we are talking about how many calories it takes to lose a pound. This is an age old myth, 3,500 calories. Is that how many calories it takes to lose a pound? The short answer is no. So you're right, it's a myth. And it was started, I think, in the 50s. And it comes from the idea that a pound of fat has about 3,500 calories to it. So, you know, people thought that if you could just cut 3,500 calories from your diet, you could lose a pound. Simply focusing on that number, 3,500 calories, it's not really gonna you know, help you, you know, lose weight. You should be trying to create a caloric deficit during your day, okay? And what that means is you need to burn more calories than you consume to maintain your weight. So you always wanna create that deficit. And you can create that deficit um, through your eating habits and or through exercise. Meaning like if, if, if 2,800 is our baseline and we're mm -hmm. just kind of making this number up here, but if that's how many it takes just to be a human, if we then expended more, Right. Exercise. So doing a workout that then burned 200 calories or 300 extra calories or whatever that mm -hmm. number is. Right. Um, that's another way to kind of create the deficit. Right. Okay. Exactly. But you also want to be careful because you don't want to create too much of a deficit. And when you do that, when you drastically cut calories, um, your body reacts by slowing your metabolism down. It's a survival thing. It's like starvation. Right? Yeah. Your body thinks yeah. it's a time of famine and, and that you're going to starve. And so it lowers your metabolism to try to conserve the energy that it has stored. It's just trying to protect ourselves, guys. Oh, guys right. are looking out for us. But, and a lot of people, you know, they, they bristle at that a little bit because they want to lose weight really quickly. Sure. But, you know, quick weight loss isn't necessarily sustainable weight loss. A healthy sort of weight loss pace is about one to two pounds a week. You really don't want to lose any more than that. It's not only the, the number of calories you consume, it's also the quality of those calories. Where are they coming from? You know, it, you don't want to be eating 2,500 calories of donuts and ice cream. You know, you want to give your body the nutrients it needs to thrive. Mm -hmm. And this is something that surprises most people. No matter what your goals are, whether it's you know weight loss or putting on muscle, you want to always be eating more carbs than proteins or fats. Um, like a good ratio is 40, 30, 30. Carbs to proteins to fats, to healthy fats. Really? Yeah, yeah. no, I, 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 I'm with the majority of the people that would assume just like carbs are the yeah. devil and don't, don't eat the carbs. Uh, yeah, carbs, they're, they're not the enemy, you need them. Carbs are where like energy comes from. You know, that's they're, they're what fuel your workouts, they're what keep you going during the day. So you always want to be eating slightly more carbs than you do the other macronutrients, proteins and, and fats. Music to my ears. Yeah. If it's all about creating a deficit, yeah. let's say I don't change my diet at all. Well a lot of people think that, you know, because they're working out, you know, longer and harder and more frequently they can, it gives them carte blanche to eat whatever they want. Right. And however much of whatever they want. Yeah, I'm working my butt off. I should be able to eat whatever I want. <laughs> but again, you know, it doesn't quite work that way. You can't out-exercise a bad diet. You need to have that dialed in as well. It's really about creating more, you know, a healthful diet and exercising more, becoming more active. That, that's really the secret to weight loss. Thanks for the information, Trevor. Thank you. See you guys next time. Bye.